Fun fact, Canada will now allow the sale of meat from cloned animals to be sold in grocery stores with no warning labels or safety reviews. So consumers won't know which steak came from a real cow and which steak came from a cloned cow. Farmers clone animals to grow the most genetically perfect livestock. During milking or after slaughter, if they notice an animal has a particularly good yield, they'll take a tissue sample from the animal, dead or alive, and bring it to a lab where they implant the cells from the tissue sample into an unfertilized egg, and once the egg is fertilized, they implant that into a healthy female, and the animal is born as usual. Many Canadians were outraged at this change, but Health Canada essentially said, what do you mean? The US has been doing this since 2008. In 2008, the FDA approved cloned meat and milk for sale and did not require a label. But there was a handshake agreement that farmers would label their meat or milk as cloned if they were selling it into the food supply. In 2008, there were around 600 cloned animals in the US. In 2014, an Iowa company was creating 100 cloned cows a year, and today we have no idea how much of the U.S.'s livestock is cloned or natural.